Well, the White House insists President Biden does remain focused on issues like drug trafficking and immigration during his summit there in Mexico, but the trip becoming increasingly overshadowed by news that potentially classified documents were found in Biden's old office. That revelation has drawn comparisons to former President Trump and his potential mishandling of hundreds of classified and top secret documents. But others point out that there are differences. Correspondent Kelly Meyer is live in Washington. Kelly, we're talking quantity and how the two men have responded. That's right, Nicole, and both men failed to follow the Presidential Records Act here that requires presidents and vice presidents to turn over documents to the National Archives for secure storage when they leave office. The difference between Biden and Trump here is the number of documents and how they were handled. The review may soon be complete, but the political fallout just beginning. President Biden in a document dilemma. Today, the president facing questions from reporters during a photo op in Mexico. After the White House said a dozen or so documents with classified markings were discovered inside his Washington, D.C. office at the Penn Biden Center. All stemming from his time as vice president. When Vice President Biden left office, it looks like he took classified documents with him, and he was very critical of President Trump. Republicans quickly comparing the discovery to the August search of former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home when hundreds of top secret documents were seized by FBI agents. I had a small number of boxes in storage at Mar-a-Lago guarded by Secret Service and my people and everybody. I mean, it's safe. At the time, Biden called Trump's decision to keep those records, quote, irresponsible. Today, former President Trump writing on Truth Social, quote, why didn't the Justice Department announce the highly classified documents documents found in the Biden office before the election. The Biden documents were found November 2nd, just six days before the midterm election. The White House says Biden immediately handed the documents found in a locked closet to the National Archives once they were discovered. Attorney General Merrick Garland has asked U.S. Attorney John Lausch to investigate. We need to have an investigation further, but there's no evidence of any type of obstruction, of delays, of hiding of documents. National security lawyer Mark Zaid says from a legal standpoint, it's impossible to compare the two cases between Biden and Trump, saying that Trump intentionally withheld the documents. Today, Democrats downplaying the discovery. This is Republican hypocrisy at its finest. When the former president had 320 documents found at his personal residence, they said that, quote, that will not be a priority. The attorney leading the review is one of the few U.S. attorneys to be held over from the Trump administration, and we may have the results of that review very soon. Nicole. All right, Kelly, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.